She has gone from fabulous to untouchable. She calls herself the most beautiful woman in all of WWE. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring. From Staten Island, New York, the most beautiful woman in all of WWE, Carmella. Carmella's proven herself as one of the most talented in-ring competitors, but according to Carmella and Corey, she's also the best looking. According to many people, Cole, you clearly just don't speak to the right people. Well, Byron told me she wasn't the best looking. Why are you being a snitch, Michael? Would you take the advice on whiskey from someone who's never had a drink? I don't think so. Gone are the days of moonwalking, the trash talking remains, and let's be honest, I think we were all a little bit over the dance break thing. Hey, I miss those dance breaks. You're the one. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready for some chaos. And from Glasgow, Scotland, Multiple tag titles, a Money in the Bank winner, a women's championship reign. There is a definite method to the madness of Nikki. Guys, did you know that Nikki has a master's degree in history? Wait, wait, what? That is mind-blowing. Since Nikki looks like she can't remember what happened five minutes ago, much less 500 years ago. We'll start with Nikki Cross, who really seems to have gone back to her roots as of late. I give her credit, Cole. She tried the superhero thing for a while. Thought she could... Oh, boy. Here it comes. Will she get it fully locked in? And... Nice escape. Trap the arm. Dismantling your opponent. Stomping. Ouch. Nikki Cross just goading her opponent. Oh, that might have just broken something. Rich in the arm. Man, what a clothesline. And Cross is in control. Cross is getting that fiery look in her eyes. Well scattered reversal there. Carmella showing she's not out of it. That could be the 180 Carmella was looking for. Over the top rope. Oh, this is vicious. That was just wrong. You should be a better person than that. A heel hook locked in. You can almost hear the opponents yelling in agony. The cover. Kick out just in time. That was a long two count there. Big form. Corey, I'm not telling you anything you don't know by saying that Carmella has a tendency to run her mouth. Do you think that could possibly be a detriment here? Now, Cole, I would never suggest that Carmella should talk less, but I will say Carmella's trash talking possibly allows her competition the perfect opportunity to counterattack. All her opponent needs is one opening to capitalize on, and she could negate all of Carmella's masterful mind games. Oh, yeah. Ripping and tearing at the face. Carmella perhaps realizing there that she's not as untouchable as she claims. Displaying their power. Boom! Is it enough? There's two! And she kicks out at two. 
If she keeps the pressure on, the next one might do it. That turns it around for Carmella. Carmella with a super kick. Carmella might decide it here. Kick out. Thought that was the end of her. Nikki was almost down for the count. Almost about to meet defeat. And with that, Carmella's dumbfounded. Absolutely dumbfounded as to how that didn't end things. Oh! Oh, no! Brad's decision-making there proved to be extremely detrimental. Can you recover from such an error? You have to wonder. Whip back into the ring. She's going for it. Got it. No, just a two. Somehow she's still in this matchup. It's unbelievable. She saw it coming. And a clothesline. Getting carried around. Bad spot to be in. Place stomp to the arm. Look at this, just stomp after stomp after stomp. Ooh, what a forearm claw. Good golly, Mick. Mickey Cross. Ooh, this is not going to be good for her opponent. That could finish off Carmella. on the wrong side of things with this loss. I can tell you this is not how Carmella envisioned this match going. Too bad, Mella. This is a travesty. Obviously, she was the victim of a, a 